Hi, my name is Tiffany and I'm with Service Star Realty and today we're going to be talking about what you can charge with your security deposit towards your Phoenix investment property. Arizona law is pretty clear when it comes to security deposits. There are limits to how much you can collect and there are timelines for how long you can take to return the deposit at the end of a tenancy. Following those regulations isn't usually a problem for Phoenix landlords. What gets a little tricky is knowing what you can and cannot deduct from that deposit. Today, we're sharing some of the things you can do with that deposit and some of the things you can't. Landlords can deduct the cost of any tenant damage that's due to misuse, abuse, neglect of the property. If there's a door that's hanging off its hinges and the wood is warped and cracked, you can charge for that. If there's a large hole in the wall or stains in the carpet, you can use the tenant security deposit to cover those charges. Sometimes tenants have accidents that are unintentional but still their responsibility. Broken appliances, torn window screens, and missing remotes or keys are reasons to deduct from a deposit. However, wear and tear is the landlord's responsibility. You cannot charge for deposits if there's a dent in the carpet or scuffing on the wall because a heavy sofa was in place for a year or more that's considered wear and tear as well. This is general deterioration that happens to any property, no matter who is living there. These are costs you have to cover yourself. Everything in your rental property has a lifespan and that will impact what you are able to charge and when. If your tenant moves out and you need to replace the carpet, you have to measure the age of carpet against the length of the tenancy. The general life expectancy of carpet is five years. So if you've had the carpet for four years and your tenant only lived the home for two years, you cannot charge a security deposit for the full cost of the carpet replacement. The same standard applies to paint. There's a five year life expectancy, so determine how much cost should be the responsibility of your tenant based on the last time you painted and the length of the tenancy. The best way to avoid a security deposit dispute is with excellent documentation. Make sure your lease states exactly how you expect to find the property returned to you after the tenancy. Do a thorough move-in inspection before you turn possession over to the tenant so you have a clear and accurate representation of the property's condition before move-in. Then do a similar, well-documented move-out inspection so you can compare the condition of the home, take a lot of pictures and videos. In Arizona, you have 14 business days to return the deposit with an accounting of what is withheld. If your tenant disputes a charge, look at the move in and move out inspection reports together and evaluate the photos and watch the videos. That might help your tenant understand what was charged and why. There's a lot to consider when you're collecting, holding, and returning a secure deposit. Deposits for your Phoenix rental property. If you have any questions or need any help, please contact us at Service Star Realty.